friends, and today we're going to talk about my writing plans for 2023. You're probably like, Jessica, what writing plans? When was the last time you wrote anything? Do you even write anymore? Is this even a writing channel? To answer those questions, yes, 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 and no. It's not a writing channel, it's a library. Uh, as I have said, as this month has been going on, one of the fun things about rebranding as a library is like, do you know all of the things that libraries do? They have books, they have magazines, they have movies, they have music, they have classes for like how to cook, how to craft, they have gathering places where you can get together and do things, they have everything. It's a library. So part of rebranding as a library was so that I could do new things on my channel and have fun and you know, if that's not your jam and you don't want to hang out with me, that's fine. I hope that we are at a point where if you're watching my channel, it's because you're watching it because you like me and obviously you would need to like the content. But I personally, as a viewer, after a few videos with a person and me being like, I like this person, I really don't care what they post about. I very much am like there to like see what's going on in that person's life, see what they're doing, see what their content is. There's content by creators that like I love the creator but I don't really care for the content but a lot of times I'll watch it anyway just because I like the creator. Sometimes I'll skip that video and I'm okay with that. Like if you want to come and watch, come in and watch the things you want to watch in the library and then not watch the things you don't want to watch, I'm fine with that. So is this a writing channel? No. Am I writing? Yes. So let's talk about writing in 2022. What were my goals? How did I do? Let's go over that. One of my main goals for 2022 was to have a more writing focused year. Did that happen? No. If it did, we wouldn't have just had the conversation we just had about do you still write? But I can say that I did do a lot last year writing wise. If you've been here, you kind of know how last year was. Like there was a lot of medical emergencies, family drama, people died, people had strokes, it was a hot mess, there was lots of cancer and fun things going on. So like, it was a year, it was a whole ass year. And so I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done, which is fine, because I'm still here, I'm still breathing, working on doing things better, having a better, more fulfilled life, all of that fun stuff that we're all trying to do at the end of every year on repeat in mass. My secondary goal was to have a third draft of French Grim Reaper done by the end of January and that was so that I could trade that off with Kate and we could get into our writing CPing life. I don't know if we were done at the end of January. I think we yeah because we were going to be done at the end of the year and we gave ourselves to the end of January. Either way whatever the deadline was that Kate and I set we both met it. Uh, we swapped stories and we gave each other feedback and then I started implementing the changes and implemented the changes throughout pretty much all of the book except for the last few chapters and then through um, kind of like talking things over with Kate of things that I changed because we got together in October with some other friends and did a writing retreat and through like talking through some of the my issues and things that I was concerned about I realized that there's a whole other part of the story that needs to be changed as well. So while I had changed a good chunk of the story, a good half of the story, it's like this other half also still needs to be changed. Apologies, I was in the middle of a sentence and the camera was like, your card is full. That's never happened before. Uh, anyway, so what were we talking about? Trading things with Kate. Okay, so we were on vacation in October and kind of came to the realization that about the other half of the book needed to change as well. So that's where I'm at now. Um, October is when I got sick and started having my health issues. And I really have been just trying to build myself back up and get to a point to where I felt like I could do the things I needed to do as well. So that's where I'm at now. I have plans for 2023. And we're going to talk about those in a second. Um, but that's kind of how 2022 went. I worked on French Grim Reaper. I rewrote the story from um, like changing the background of a lot of the curse and the magic system and all of that. And now I need to change my characters as far as like things that they're interested in, some of the personality types. There's just some things that really aren't working uh, for the story that I want. Does this mean I'm rewriting the story again? Absolutely. Do I think it's going to make a better product in the end? Also, absolutely. I want to stress that this is not, I mean, this will be the 
fifth draft of this story, I think, or the fourth draft. I don't know where we're at. It's probably considered a fourth draft. Either way, I want to stress that this is not me like continuously redoing the story so that I never have to give it to anyone to see or to like chase the perfection. This is literally just like it's real bad and it needs some help. So this will be the last draft that I do before it goes to beta readers. So my CP has seen it. Um, we've discussed changes that are going to happen in the future. I've also discussed changes with Wallace Grape and Katie and Miranda as well. Um, even though they haven't read the book, like they've listened to me talk about it at length. So they kind of know what's going on. Uh, and Stieg as well. Uh, Stieg was around um, I got to hang out with Steve this year as well. Yeah, so I've talked things over with them and kind of like have a good idea of where things are going and changing and why they're changing. And so we're going in that direction. And then I will have those friends do some alpha reader kind of things um, if they want uh, next year. So yeah, that's where I'm at. That's what we're doing. Uh, Kate and I have set a deadline for February 28th, I think think is our deadline. I wrote this shit down somewhere, but I think our deadline is the end of February to have the next draft done. Um, so I will be doing January mode trying to get in 50,000 words. I actually don't think my goal is 50,000 words. If I'm being honest, I could tell you, hold on, let me pull up my 2023 project tracker. If you are a multiple project girly and you like to keep track of your word counts or revision counts with multiple projects, um, I will link in the description box down for you the project tracker that I use, a project planner that I use. It's by Jamie Raintree. It is fairly inexpensive. I think the one version is like $20 and the other is $30. I don't remember exactly. You'll have to go look and check it out. Um, but it's, it's fairly inexpensive for what it is. And it is fantastic. So what are my goals? Anku's cat, Anku's curse draft for due date is $228. And my goal is 50,000 for both months. That's a choice, Jessica. Um, I set up my planner for 50,000 words in January. I guess we're going to see what happens. Uh, so <laughs> I also have plans to do a discovery draft in 2023 of the other graveyard book. So like, you know, I guess since we're here, we should talk about my plans for 2023. So my actual goals for 2023 are to write 250,000 words in 2023. That's a lot. I don't know exactly how I'm going to calculate this, but I think what my goal is, is to obviously count any words that I write within a story. So if I'm working on a draft or um, whether it's a discovery draft, a first draft, a fifth draft, whatever draft I'm on, I can count those words. Um, and not just new words when I'm revising. So essentially, if I'm revising draft four, and I finish a chapter, and that chapter is what I consider to be complete, I can count all of the words in that chapter, even if I only change two thirds of them. Um, because in my opinion, even though it's a 250,000 words written, you know, um, in my opinion, it's me saying that that chapter is done. And those words that are there need to be there. And those words would have been written you know, if I was rewriting the whole thing. So that's kind of where I'm going with that in a way. So any new words that are written, and then anything, if it's a draft that I'm redoing, I can do the full word count of whatever chapter I'm finished on as I finish. That's kind of where my 250 is coming from. I think that's the only way I'm actually going to hit 250,000 words if I even do hit 250,000 words. But it's just, it's just a number in the stratosphere. Because Again, I've met myself and I know now that like, if I set my goal at 250,000 words, I may actually reach 50,000 words. Whereas if I set it at 50, I'll hit like 15 and be like, well, I got part of the way there. So I know I have to overset my goals. I've met myself and I have figured that out. So that's, that's where we're at with that. Uh, my only other real goal for 2023 is to try to build a better writing habit, to try to get some work in every night or so. And just do better about being more on target and on habit of making writing a priority. There are a bunch of things that I'm trying to work on building up habits for this year. If you watched my um, bullet journal setup for 2023, you'll know that there's like a whole thing that I'm trying to work on. So I'm trying and all I can do is try. So pretty much that's what I'm working on. French Grim Reaper, the other graveyard book, writing drafts. <laughs> French Grim Reaper will be draft four and the other graveyard book will be a discovery draft. And if you haven't been here before 
and you've made it this far into the video. Let me read you what I wrote in November in my bullet journal because it was like it was like a perfectly written off the top of my head synopsis of a, the Anku's Curse, which is also French Grim Reaper. It's a thing. Uh, Emma is a 16 year old girl who aspires to have the perfect directorial debut for her school's play of Sleepy Hollow. But when a new girl shows up at school and an old man starts to follow her around town, the path to the show's opening, both her 17th birthday and Halloween, seems more treacherous than ever. Along with her best friend and super cute crush, Emma discovers more about her family's past and herself while navigating teen drama and an old family curse. So essentially, Emma has been cursed by the Anku, but she doesn't know it because it's an old family curse. It's like hundreds of years old. There's a whole thing. You get some backstory. It's a thing. We've been talking about it for years now. Um, the other graveyard book is one that I started earlier last year. I've literally wrote like the first notes of this in 2014 is when I wrote down the notes of like the, the thought of this idea. And it is going to be like a connecting story because it does deal with a Grim Reaper, which if you don't know, the Anku is like a French Grim Reaper, hence why it's called the Anku's Curse. And I also call it French Grim Reaper. Um, but we're going to be dealing with a different type of Grim Reaper in the other graveyard book. And uh, the other graveyard book is not an actual title. It's just, it deals a lot with graveyards and the graveyard book would have been the perfect title, but there's already one of those by Neil Gaiman, which I've read and is really good. Uh, so the other graveyard book is its, is its jokey title, much like French Grim Reaper. So it follows a teen girl who is new to a town and discovers that their city has this entire thing where they're kind of like sacrificing people to the Grim Reaper for power. It's a thing. So that's, that's where we're at. That's what I'm working on this year. That's what I'm doing. Um, do I plan to work on other projects? Maybe. I don't know. Um, again, I'll link in the description box for you down below the project tracker that I use because it's fantastic. I love it. I have like been trying to slowly get all my friends on it. Also, if you are watching this and you want to know more about Januarimo, I will link uh, Katie's website down below where she has like her Januarimo stuff uh, because that's being led by Katie at Katie Ann Writes. So all of her info will be down there below as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!